Good evening, social media. I am doing this video today because I have an announcement to make. This video, of course, you will be viewing from Facebook, Instagram and YouTube as well. Back in December 2020, the coronavirus vaccines were rolled out. The very first woman to get the vaccine was a woman called Margaret Keenan from the uh, University Hospital in Coventry. She got that first vaccine done on the 8th of December 2020 at half past six in the morning. The first man to get the Covid vaccine was a guy called William Shakespeare. And no, it wasn't the the guy who wrote Romeo and Juliet and Macbeth, etc, etc. No, this was just some random guy who was in his 80s called William Shakespeare. Um, and he was the first man to get the coronavirus vaccine. Now, back in January, you may remember that the UK government set a target for this third national lockdown, um, which was to get to 15 million people jabbed in their arms by the 15th of February. Earlier this week, on the 14th of February 2021, they managed to successfully get to 15 million uh, people in the UK to be jabbed with the coronavirus vaccine, whether it was the Pfizer BioNTech uh, vaccination, or if it, or if not that, then it would have been the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccination as well. So, 15 million people were jabbed with either one of those vaccinations um, by the 14th of February. And can I just say um, that first of all, uh, a massive congratulations to the UK government for reaching their target, especially a day early. Um, I really do congratulate you guys. But more importantly, uh, on behalf of the UK government and the NHS and uh, everyone else who made this vaccination possible, uh, I just want to thank, uh, obviously, the, the scientists who made uh, these vaccines uh, because without those, 15 million, 15 million people wouldn't have been jabbed by the 15th of February. But more importantly, to all those people out there who are watching this video right now, who may have already received their first dose of the vaccination, I do once again want to thank you guys uh, for going out of your way, going to your GPs, your churches, uh, your community centres, uh, your, uh, your hospitals, um, and maybe even potentially vaccination centres that may even be in car parks, for example. Uh, you know, uh, they, uh, without you guys going to those venues, uh, obviously... You know, we wouldn't uh, we wouldn't be where we are right now uh, with the coronavirus vaccine targets being met. Uh, so to all the 15 million people out there, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to you all for going out of your way during this third national lockdown uh, to get to where we are uh, today. OK, now going to today. Uh, what I can reveal to you right now is today we are on the 17th of February 2021 um, and the official figures have just been released uh, just before I started filming this video. I can now reveal to you guys that 15.9 million people have in the UK been vaccinated as of today the 17th of February 2021 but what I also do want to reveal is out of those 15.9 million people that have been vaccinated now I am I can confirm that I am one of those people who have now been uh, vaccinated with the coronavirus vaccine okay um, now the reason why is because 
Um, not because I'm over 65, no. <laughs> um, but the reason being is because I do fall under the bracket of somebody aged 16 to 64 who has an underlying uh, health uh, condition. So, uh, obviously, that is why I was entitled uh, to the vaccine. Uh, I did get the text message come through on Monday night, um, straight after Boris Johnson's recent uh, press conference, literally five, ten minutes after his press conference ended, I received the text message uh, to say that my I am now eligible to get the vaccine. Um, and also as well, I uh, also received a link straight away to say that obviously I'm able to uh, a book an appointment online right now to get the vaccine. The earliest date that they possibly had was Wednesday the 17th of February so I booked my appointment for today um, and yeah and what I can also show you as well I don't know how well it's going to pick but you see where my finger is right there that is exactly where they did the coronavirus jab and also as well um, while I'm talking here you guys will uh, get to see my uh, vaccine card um, right there as well uh, which obviously just tells you the batch number the date of when I received the vaccine and also the vaccine type uh, that I also had as well so obviously with me I had the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine um, and obviously uh, that should be the vaccine that I will be having um, in my second dose when I go for my second dose in around about 12 weeks time. So in around about three weeks time from now or up to the next three weeks, which kind of takes us to the 10th of March uh, 2021, which is actually the week when the third national lockdown does come to an end. Um, I will be around about 52% protected um, as the antibodies start to build up uh, in my immune system and around in my body as well. So there we go. Uh, but really, I do want to thank, obviously, the NHS. Um, and I do want to thank the UK government for allowing... Um, people in my category for, for example 16 to 64 who've got underlying health conditions um, being able to be given the chance uh, right now to get the vaccine but what I can say to you guys right now is it is vitally uh, important uh, for you to go out and get vaccinated to save lives um, that's that's the message and that is the uh, that that is going to be my slogan uh, moving on uh, from this as well, is when you are illegible, if you get a letter from the NHS, if you get a text message from your GP, uh, then you need to really go online, book an appointment and get a vaccine as soon as you are illegible to do so. It is vitally important to, that to defeat uh, this virus, you need to... Uh, you need to obviously book an appointment and and get vaccinated to save lives. And the quicker we're all vaccinated uh, and the quicker that we are uh, all keeping ourselves and others protected, then the more quicker that life can return back to normal.